Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report news briefing for Tuesday the 8th of October, the local media headlines today. Hundreds of climate change protesters have travelled from Cornwall to London to take part in the latest Extinction Rebellion demonstrations, closing roads and bridges across the capital. Full marks to Cornwall Live for sending a photographer. The Cornwall contingent's first blockade was Lambeth Bridge. Police made scores of arrests and this is a story which clearly will run for a while. Cornwall reports returned to the spaceport saga, looking ahead to a satellite launch from Florida on Thursday, which has implications for anything that happens at Newquay. That's because if this week's launch from Florida is a success, it increases the pressure on Richard Branson to show that he is also serious about getting into space. If Thursday's mission flops, then perhaps Mr Branson can afford to take his time. Cornwall Reports also looked at the local Citizens Advice News about how it's helped ease the burden of more than £5 million worth of debt for local people. Meanwhile, Pirate FM had news of the most deprived parts of Cornwall, according to government statistics. The Cornish Times reported on a serious accident which blocked the A388 between Callington and St Melian. The Cornish and Devon Post celebrated various heritage days in the Launceston area. The Camelford and Delibol Post covered a planning application for three new homes. And finally, the Buden Stratton Post congratulated an ex-Royal Marine for his sponsored swim in the local sea pool. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.